Hello and welcome to the Sands of Time review channel. It is your host Sammy Thunder here today. Today I'm here with a new acquisition. I've kind of uh, achieved one of my collection goals or just one of my personal goals for 2023 um, in purchasing a long jeans watch. A uh, long jeans watch that I uh, actually wanted for quite some time. It's from the line uh, line of watches from long jeans that I really really like um, and let's get right into it. It is the long jeans spirit line um and it is a very very special watch in their lineup and this is the box just wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing it's a unique box it's a nice high quality box so why not show off the the box so let's get right into it um lifting the lid open of this long jeans uh, box um we've got another lacquer box here a wooden wooden lacquered box very nice compact box um, it's very high quality, it feels nice, and with that, uh, within the sleeve of the uh, cardboard box, what we have is a Longines, uh, kind of like a wallet, a card holder, um, and it holds your warranty, so you get your international warranty by Longines, and also you get a, uh, if I can put the card in, you will get a chronometer certificate or a chronometer card just letting you know that this is a chronometer certified watch um, so yeah tells you the model of the watch um, and the serial number has some fun information there and yeah you get this uh, kind of leather card holder which is nice very supple actually and as usual you get this th very very thick long jeans manual uh, in multiple languages I will never use this but nonetheless we get it um, they provide it and here we go with the box now I have worn this watch it is not a true unboxing it's not my first reaction um, it is a pre-owned watch uh, the owner had this watch for 300 days um, it is the Longines Spirit Titanium an absolutely magnificent watch I've worn this watch for a total of a week and I wanted to provide you guys with a initial impression slash an unboxing um, so within the box you know very nice soft kind of uh, cushiony material uh, you get this tag here which pretty much states that you know it's got a silicon air spring um, and you get very high quality service from the brand um, got some spare links uh, from uh, from the watch and this is the tag with a represented retail price of four thousand four hundred and seventy five Australian dollars um, and underneath this box yes you can kind of put some storage material that's actually useful but look it's a nice box I really do think it's kind of cute because of the size and Let's just get right into this watch. I mean, this watch here is fabulous. It is a Longines Spirit Zulu Titanium. It features a gilt handset, gilt indices, a gilt ring. Um, there's a lot of work gone into this watch um, that I really appreciate. It is so beautiful. They have done a great job in this design. Um, but to get some of the basic specifications out of the way, this is a 40 mil case. Um, it has a lug to lug of 49 millimeters and look I'm not including the extra two mils or so that you get from this uh, male in links um, it features a lug width of 21 millimeters a case thickness of 12.2 mils and the way they've done the beveling on this case it makes it even like it, it, it feels even thinner it's very thin on the wrist and also note that there is a very high dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the inside and the outside It is an absolutely stellar watch um, It is grade 5 titanium, right? It is super light and this is going to be one of the only reviews where I'm actually going to show the weight of the watch uh, size to a 7.1 inch wrist um, As you can see from the dial it is a chronometer and note it is the five stars. It's playing to the heritage um, since this is an initial impressions, I'm not going to go deep into the heritage, but this is a chronometer certified movement within this watch. It is the L8884 uh, chronometer movement, um, beats around 50, uh, uh, 25,200 vibrations an hour, featuring a 72 hours of power reserve. Um, it is a no date caliber, as you can see here, no phantom date wheel, which is excellent. Um, now, into the watch, 
it's titanium. It's grade five titanium. One of the harder grades of titanium to work with and, and finish, like polish, brushing, etc. Um, so that is probably why you notice a $4,475 uh, RRP tag uh, compared to let's say the standard uh, Longines Spirit in stainless steel which is 32 to 3300 Australian dollars if I am not mistaken um, and look this watch here with the gilt is beautiful it plays extremely well with the the light uh, the indices handset the uh, chronometer the applied everything's applied here um, which is just superb it's no date it's so clean it has a matte black dial i dare say it's not actually a matte black dial it is an anthracite dial which plays extremely well with the light so in certain lights it feels like a a matte gray anthracite but in certain lights it can appear gloss black certain lights you can notice the matte black and you can see just by me turning this uh, watch around uh, and it's currently being subjected to a ring light um, and just external lights in general um, it is it, it plays very well with the light the watch itself, in terms of dial quality, is excellent. I've looped this watch. Um, I've not. I won't really be providing macro shots here, but I've looped this watch, and I can tell you right now, there is not a single flaw in the dial. There is not even a speck of dust in the dial. The level of finishing and quality is up there. Look, I'm sure there might be a model that you might get. This is just in general with QC, with any kind of brand and any kind of watch. Yeah, you might see a speck of dust here and there, but I'm just so impressed with this Longines Spirit. Um, you know, the dial quality is insane. Um, the applied indices, my God, those numerals, the font of those numerals, the sizing of the numerals. And you can see that there is a cut out for the minute ring, right? And the cut out for the minute ring, if you, if you notice there, they've got V-shaped. It's not diamond shaped, but it, it allows for those diamond markers on the dial, which are loomed, by the way, uh, to kind of fit in there and it provides such a unique distinct look it is absolutely amazing it is beautiful um the minute ring you know it features you know all your minute sub uh minute track there uh like it features you know individual minute reading and even beyond that um so it's very very uh easy to tell the time even you know noting the seconds because this seconds hand reaches that track doesn't you know it doesn't like other watches not reach it but you can see if i'm tracking the second hand it's red tipped it's red tipped not just the tip there it's red tipped um even further and that paint quality that they've done there the paint job is superb there's the delineation from the metal to the paint applied on the red is excellent i've looped the watch it is superb this watch is I have to say, I'm um, I'm sad, and I never purchased the Longines watch before. But this Zulu, Zulu, not Zulu, sorry, but this Spirit line is amazing. Right, whatever watch you get, it's amazing. Um, out of the dial, what is this watch? It's a Grade Five titanium watch, and they finished it superbly. The watch is broken up excellently, and this is the case of the watch. The level of finishing, brushing. I'm going to compare this. Uh, to my Seamaster Professional 300, which I used to own. It has uh, very high quality brushing, and that's what I notice here. It's very fine, aggressive brushing to the sides. The tops are kind of side brushed, brushed to the sides, not vertically. Very aggressive case, very sporty, very sharp. Um, it almost reminds me of a Grand Seiko. Um, if I'm looking at this high polished bevel edges, right, that is on the top part of the case, uh, and also breaking this... Uh, mid part of the case like notice how I move my finger right the from all directions from from the start of this case to the end of the case from lug to lug what you notice is is that it's actually a very high polish it is mirror finishing that is distortionless it's it's mechanically done it's not going to be as good as a Grand Seiko but it is Honestly, I can't tell much of a difference in that finishing, right? The finishing on this watch is superb uh, from what, you know, is offered from Longines. Um, it is a beautiful watch. Uh, the crown, even the crown is, uh, has an applied, like, logo, um, like a frosted logo where you have the Longines text with the winged hourglass. I mean, they have not cheapened out or skimped out at all. 
The bracelet is a three link style and the first this is the first link second and the mid link and the, the third link and they've done uh, polish to the first and third um, to the sides there and then the mid link the uh, the edge of the mid link uh, is also high polished and it gives the watch a nice character like a nice speedmaster-esque style of bracelet look um, and it's nice you know it, it, lo it looks good it's they've not cheapened out with the uh, bracelet design and then this is the clasp the long jeans clasp as you can see there are some hairline scratches 300 days of use and this is really the only wear I've seen on the watch looking at the case back symmetrical perfect it has screws um, it's not a screw in case back but it's screwed in with uh, I believe six screws um, 100 meters of water resistant 10 bar uh, grade 5 titanium estate it has all that information there great offers you five years of warranty on the watch yeah, superb um, in terms of the weight on a 7.1 inch wrist let's use this kind of kitchen scale I'll turn it on let's see uh, what we get here now it's on zero and what I'll do now is place the watch here it is currently 89 grams that is super light that is a very light watch and look for comparison what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare it to the heaviest watch in my collection and that is no doubt a diver I believe this is the heaviest watch in my collection this is a hundred and eighty three grams so it's almost it, it is literally half the weight of this watch I don't mind wearing heavy watches but this Longines Spirit Zulu time is um, excellent like in terms of weight it's so comfortable you don't really feel it on the wrist and it wears well to do a bit of a wrist watch check sorry a wrist watch check I'm wearing the Grand Seiko the SBGJ 235 this is a great watch as well and it's currently on a strap and if I'm going to measure this watch let's see let's see the weight and this is head only excluding the bracelet 83 grams so it's just a bit lighter than the Longines Spirit Zulu time which is 89 grams so it's like uh, you know now on the wrist how does this wear this is the Longines Spirit Zulu time you look from from the wrist itself it's very thin uh, it has a 49 mil lug to lug so I recommend this watch really to six and a half inches or above it is the yeah for there is a 42 mil variant of this watch but I have the 40 mil variant of this watch because I feel like this is what suits my wrist um, but it looks and feels amazing if I had one mechanical watch in the collection right now I'm gonna be honest right now I have to say I'd keep this at Longines Zulu time over any watch I have regardless of price point this is a tremendous value for money if you can you know usually you'll be able to get at least a 20% discount on long jeans at least uh, from an authorized dealer which is great you buy it pre-owned you'll probably you'll get more I, I bought it from someone I, I'm not even sure when I met the person he was like I don't even know why I'm selling this watch and he's selling it he sold it for dirt cheap on eBay and I had the coupon offer and I was like this is exactly what I wanted and I told myself that I wouldn't really purchase any other watches for a while after the um, SBGJ 235 but I have to be honest man this this watch here I highly recommend this watch even though this is just an initial impressions this watch is amazing um, it is easily become one of my favorite watches I know this is the honeymoon stage but this is unlike any of the other watches I've owned um, except for the 221 uh, I have a connection with this watch it is a keeper in the collection it is great it is high quality um, the way the dial plays with the light uh, with the reflections or you know the gilt in certain lights when you see all the gilt from natural lighting just light up that is not offered by any other watch in terms of having this Arabic numerals right like I know Grand Seiko will have this or watches you know far exceeding the price point but this is superb this is functional this is what I call one of the best probably the best everyday watch let's be honest titanium is such a good material for this but you know 
this is an initial impressions. I will provide a solid review of this watch. And you can tell right now that I don't think I have many bad things to say about it. This is worth its full retail price. In retail price, it's competing with watches like the Black Bay 58 on a leather strap. Um, look, let's compare apples to apples. That's a diver. This is not. Maybe it competes with the Black Bay 36 or 41. Um, many watches out there. This is such a solid offering, really, uh, from the Black Bay 58. It is an alternative to the 58, I'd say. Um, this no longer makes me lust for a 58. Uh, in terms of Tudor, look, I don't know what I'd get, like for a diver, but this watch here is, in my opinion, it is worth the retail price. Even this Longines Zulu time, if you can wear this watch, if it fits the wrist, those this line of watch is stunning. It is it is great. Longines is in the right direction with the um, Spirit line and also the Heritage line. I am, you know all for long jeans. I'm a big supporter of the brand. Um, I really have nothing more to say. The loom on this watch is killer. Um, if I can, oops, no, I'm not turning off. I can't really, how do I show loom? It's going to be a bit difficult, but you can probably see the loom is a blue loom. Uh, it is very potent. It is evenly applied. You will never notice there is no, it is uniform application of loom, right? There are watches priced at $30,000 which don't do this, but they've nailed it down. In terms of the perfection that this watch offers, I'm very happy. Thanks for watching. It's the sands of time. Peace.